Yo, this is Sir the Baptist on 24-7 HH, and these are my king bars. What's the difference between a hundred dollar and a dollar bill? Not the ink, not the paper, that's real, that's why I'm knee. Ben and Gator seeking a face up. God to get to Georgia, need my bills folded face up. Is this why you lace up to go and punch the clock? You fighting time, the more you win, the more you won't stop. That's why the rich is suicidal when the poor keep their dukes up. Pack a crowd, pack you out, you still a fucking loser. We put so much power in the money and we just don't know that it's just an instrument. It's not meant to take over our lives. It's basically saying like there's nothing different but the digit. It's the same ink, it's the same paper. Why are we putting so much power inside of it? God to get to George. Why do we seek God to get something so irrelevant? You fighting time. The more you win, the more you won't stop. I seen this one thing on YouTube and it was talking about beans, jelly beans, and it's sort of like how you run out of time, but time, your lifetime, lifespan and the jelly bean, sort of like having all these jelly beans and you came down to just a few at the end because you spent so much of your time at work just trying to get this money. The more you win, the more you won't stop. That's why the rich is suicidal and the poor keep they dukes up. Pack a crowd, Pacquiao, you still a fucking loser. Now I'm not calling Pacquiao a loser, I'm just saying to the community, they don't even care how much you're about them. They only care about who got the most money and who could shine harder. So it was, it was sort of like taunting. We need to change our perspective. The community care less about somebody that care about them. They just want somebody that's flashy and just want the money. Paper get low, you do the best you know. <laughs> Work the block, I mean like all night. Back to back, packing back and forth, try trapping on them fours, you can get your money so right. And that don't make it right. And that don't make it good. Just cause you need your lights don't mean cut them off in the hood. If lights on top of hoods catch you up to no good, just pray that death will bring you an angel that look like shook. When you trying to do all of this sort of things just to seal the loose ends up, why, why is it that the first thing we do is mess up our community? Track that good living, want that good living, drug dealing, seems so fucking appealing. Look how they be flexing, make you wanna give in. Enough to make a grown man get stuck up in the kitchen, cook, cook, cooking up that soda, bagging on the sofa. Sell it to some crackheads and seal your loosens up, bruh. Bleeding, hold your nose up. Needles make your arms tough. Between the good lord and luck, you on your way to church. Say we cruising in that unmarked Impala. Looking for that almighty dollar. I know so many people that want to do good, but then they homie rode down the street in that new whip those rims on like man you know what drug dealing seems so fucking appealing and i guess i can't get mad at you looking for that almighty dollar pop the collar homie looking like creflo dollar 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 bill creflo almighty dollar sir the baptist 24 7 hh these are my king bars I Man, we live in a broken society. Um, it's frail, it's full of biases, and we need the people who are in control and in charge to realize that as well. So when you put police officers in charge, you gotta do that with the, with the knowledge that they have biases and that they're imperfect people and that they're wielding all this power. The first six years I spent in Nigeria, like, I was definitely comfortable. Like, my family was, like, well off, so, like, for the most part, so we, like, I was taken care of or whatever, but just being able to go outside and see the people who weren't immediately. Like, it's not even like where you have to turn a corner or something. Pretty much the whole song was done. He just needed the hook and uh, he played it on the spot. And as soon as the lyrics started, I knew like it was something I wanted to be a part of just because it, it was, you know, about, it was it was catered to, catering to women. It was speaking to women. The the spirituality, the peace that's, that was in the communities has been taken out and, and it's taken time from crack era all the way down to where we are now. They've been removing 